Hey everybody, so this is the first episode of my podcast, I Just Like to Talk, and I know, I know, not another podcast, but hey, I just like to talk, I don't even like to call it, (laughs) I don't even like to call this a podcast because I really just like to talk and unlike in my YouTube videos, I feel like I can't really talk about some things that I want to talk about because it's not relevant to the video. So I'm not going to bore you with things. But on here, I am going to bore you. So, sorry about that. Um, As a disclaimer, I'm still getting to know my mic. And, you know, how far I should be from the mic. How close I should be from the mic. You know, so sometimes you might hear a little... (laughs) Or a little... Or a little... (laughs) So, yeah. I'm very sorry about that. Also, I talk... Uh, a little chaotically, if you will. Sometimes I'm a little bit illiterate, but aren't we all? Uh, sometimes I talk really fast, so I kind of get jumbled up with my words and I trip over my own tongue. But don't we all? And then, a lot of the times, I will literally cut myself off mid-sentence, start another sentence in the middle of that sentence, And then go back to what I was talking about before. I don't know if we all do that, but I do that. So if you don't like this chaotic way of speaking, this is definitely not the podcast for you. So today's topic is mainly going to be about haters and how I feel like haters be hating on the wrong people and they have to redirect their hate to the right people. Um, a couple of days ago, it was the MTV VMAs, MTV, I don't know, I don't really watch those award shows, so sometimes I get mixed up, like, is it the VMAs or the MTV, but y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? It was those awards, okay, it was that award show, and Stray Kids was nominated for one of the categories, I think, and they won, like, best K-pop performance music song, whatever it was, they won something. Okay, and it was for the song S-Class. And if you know me, you know I love K-pop. I'm a big fan of BTS, TXT, um, ATs. I'm starting to get into Stray Kids. And I want to get into The Boys and Seventeen and P1 Harmony. Kind of want to get into New Jeans too, but we'll see. So yeah, I like I know my K-pop stuff. And I definitely know that in the K-pop realm, they just do not like Stray Kids at all for some reason. I mean, some of the reasoning is valid, but when it comes to, like, their music and, like, how they look, people will be hating on them for that, and I just don't understand how people do that. Like, it's kind of like if you were, like, dating someone and you were all up on them, like, oh my god, my significant other is so hot, so beautiful, but then when y'all break up or, like, if they, like, cheat on you or something, you're just like, oh my god, this person was so ugly, like, I deserve so much better, but she was just all up on them, that don't make sense to me. Like, it's kind of like that to me. It's like people will pick and choose which day. Like sometimes they'll be like, oh my god, Stray Kids so fine. And then they'll be like, ew, no, they're so ugly. Their music sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Let's be real with ourselves, okay? If you don't like something, odd, like that's fine, you know? Not everybody's going to like the same things. That's cool. But keep your opinions to yourself. I feel like a lot of people were hating, especially on Twitter. Twitter? Twitter? I can't speak. On Twitter. I guess it's called X now, whatever that is, but they were hitting on them, saying that their performance wasn't good, they were lip syncing, their song is noise music, I don't know how they got the award, all this stuff, blah, 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 blah. And to me, I've always been the type of person that I'm just like, okay, I really feel like if you just stand the groups that you stand and shut up, we be good, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know why people can't do that. I, I, it just doesn't like just stand the groups that you stand and shut up that's really all i have to say i've always been that type of person like unless it's something about racism or cultural appropriation you know it's always something like that in the k-pop community unless it's something like that then okay speak your piece but for the most part it's literally they just hitting on them for no apparent reason like just stand the groups that you stand and shut up and that kind of brings me to just 
hating and social media in general like people literally just hate on people for no apparent reason people will be living their lives they make a cute little funny video posting on tiktok or instagram or like youtube or something there people go hating on them hating on the way they look hating on their body just everything why do you have to do that if you literally have nothing nice to say don't say it at all like do we have to go back to elementary school and learn this like come on now like i don't know why people do that it's literally so annoying to me because i feel like a lot of the time too the hate is misdirected like you're hating on this person for just being them when you could literally be hating on racist and homophobic people and transphobic people and xenophobic people you literally could be hitting on them but you choose to hate on people who just live in their lives it don't make sense to me like use your hating powers for good what are y'all doing y'all are so misguided it's crazy like y'all are just like not classy trashy just no couth just classless like omg it's so it's just so crazy to see and it's crazy to see how fast the internet has changed and social media has changed i feel like there wasn't really much of a crazy change it was really after covid that people started getting crazy on the interwebs bruh because after covid there's just there's a lot of people that just need a lot of psychological evaluations like i feel like we were just all holed up in our houses and now that we can finally go outside people just think oh now's the time for me to act crazy and to do all this stuff no it's not i promise you it's not i just think find more better stuff to do with your time okay like find a hobby find something to do mind the business that pays you please it's it's getting old at this point it's getting annoying it's getting old it's not cute it's not quirky it's not funny it really isn't and that really just it brought me to this next topic we're going to talk about is the social media influencers um we're gonna be talking about people like Michaela Nugira, Nugira, however you say her last name. We're gonna be talking about Michaela. And we're also gonna be talking about Colleen too, but we'll save her for last, okay? But with Michaela, we all know what happened with Lashgate. That was such a crazy thing, because it's like she playing in our face, and we see you playing in your in our faces, and you're over here like, nah, I'm not playing in our face, and we're just like girl we know we we know that you're playing in our face we see it literally we see it and you're lying and she's over here like no like it's just the couple coats of the mascara we all know okay especially the people that follow you because you're a makeup like beauty guru the people that follow you know makeup too so you don't think that they're not gonna see a false lash come on now baby come on try try harder next time that's what i'll say try harder next time and also too the people saying you know they was doing a deep dive and they were saying that she's like faked a bunch of sponsored posts before like a couple of sponsored posts where she'll like kind of put on the product and then cut it and then come back and she's all done full face and people are just like okay why did you only show like one second of the product like that's weird you put on that foundation that you claimed was really good but it actually was really sheer and then you come on full face the foundation the foundation is all of a sudden full coverage you know what i'm saying like it was like stuff like that that people were kind of like uncovering and i honestly don't know how people still trust her and people still follow her i feel like when you do stuff like that like when you don't follow the ftc guidelines i really feel like these people should get fined like you should be paying some type of money because we all like and it's like we all see it we see the false lash come on like i swear if we make an example out of her or somebody like her people gonna stop doing it i'm telling you that's what we gotta do we gotta make an example out of these people and i really feel like they should get fined they should 
because you're lying. You're lying to all these people. And I guess it's also something to say about the people who trust them too, is I guess you can't really trust everything you see on the internet, which is a given. Um, I feel like people should be more wary, you know? But it's hard when it's like, you might be like, okay, let me go look at other reviews. And then it's full of all these other influencers who maybe might not even be sponsored by, you know, that company, but they could want to have their video used and have like commission for their video because that's a thing now like on tiktok you can put a little tag that's like oh eligible for commission meaning like this video like if you want to pay me for this advertisement that i did for y'all basically then you can pay me so even now it's way harder to really trust anybody because somebody could be sponsored you're like okay let me go to somebody that's not sponsored But then they could just be saying it's really good so that they can get paid for their video. So it's like, it's hard. So you really just gotta see for yourself. And sometimes you just end up wasting your money and that sucks. So these people, I think they really should be fined for the false advertisement. That's, that's it. That's the end of the story for me. Moving on to Colleen. Oof, I just... At the time that I'm recording this, Swoop's video already came out with um, her interview with Joshua. I'm almost done with it. I'm like 30 minutes left. But let me tell you, it's crazy. This whole thing is quite literally a whirlwind. I think we were all gobsmacked by that ukulele apology, okay? Like, (laughs) I swear, I, I, I feel like I've heard that song so many times that I literally know the words to it like (laughs) I literally know the words like anytime I hear it I can literally sing along oh my god it's crazy it's actually crazy she's done something that the internet really has never seen before so props to her for that but let me tell you this let's say in an alternate universe in an alternate reality that adam becky oliver all the other victims were lying right let's say they were lying which i don't think they are i always believe the victims you know and the proof is in the pudding we see it there's video footage there's screenshots we see all the evidence we see all the proof so if you still support her then you're just blind and you're choosing not to see and that's really weird but let me tell you why even if it was fake i feel like you still shouldn't support her because why are you singing a song about something that's so serious like this is a serious topic you're getting accused of doing really serious detrimental like dangerous things and you're over here on youtube singing a song about it basically saying oh i didn't do this strumming your ukulele that's not funny it's not cute i feel like me as a if I was a fan, I've never been a fan of, like, Colleen. I never really liked her. I will say, though, I did watch her um, Haters Back Off show when that came out. Because I was like, oh, that's kind of cool that this, like, YouTuber, like, literally has a show, like, based on this, cre- like, character that she created. That's kind of cool. So I watched it. It was okay. But if even if I was a fan of Colleen, once I saw that video, I would not be a fan of her anymore. Because, like I said, even if it was fake... Why are you over here singing a song making fun of it? That's the main thing. Instead of like being serious and being like, hey guys, this is what people are saying about me. Um, This is not true. But you're over here saying like, singing, not even saying, singing that this is not true. And this is lies. This is rumors that people made up for clout. Like singing about how your career is over and how people are tying you to train tracks and basically about to k-i-l-l you like talking about people stabbing you repeatedly in your bony little back like what are you doing what are you doing this is crazy and for the people that were like like hurt by this they were your fans there are people that looked up to you and loved you so much 
and dedicated a lot of their time to you and for you to just backstab them like that is so crazy and then that even goes on to the people like who are kind of hating on adam now kind of like saying like oh my god this topic is over with you talk about this all the time now it's so over with like you really do just want clout from it at this point like you're so annoying I'm sorry, but if something like that happened to you, would you not want to be talking about it? Because props to Adam for always talking about this for real, because people who are creators who have like millions of followers, they'll be quote unquote canceled, which we all know what canceled mean means. Like it means basically you being like, the hated person on the internet for like a couple of weeks but then after that everybody forgets what you've done so props to him for basically sticking up for himself and telling people i will not let you forget what this person has done that's what he's doing he's saying as long as this isn't like you know reside as as long as this like isn't over i'm not over Because there's new stuff that comes out, like, every week about this stuff that she's done. So it's hard not to talk about it, honestly. So props to him, like, props to Adam for talking about this and continuing to talk about it. And he can talk about it for as long as he wants because that is something that he experienced. And he is sticking up for himself and he's giving other people voices as well. You know what I mean? Like, it's because that he came out with his story, you know, he faced the internet with his story again, even though he didn't want to because Cody Rance was the one that brought this back up. But he faced the internet with his story again. This time, there's a lot of proof to back it up. And now, more victims of Colleen feel like they can come out with this story, with their stories too. And that, I think that's a great thing, that people finally feel like I can share what happened to me and I can share, you know, how this kind of made me feel. So I say he should still talk about it and he should talk about it for however he wants. Freedom of speech, right? I mean, that's what haters will say, like, you know, it's freedom of speech. I can say whatever I want to say. Well, Adam can say whatever he wants to say, too. So sorry babe but that's just that's just the way it is and that's the way it's gonna be i don't know i think everything is just it's been so crazy lately on the interwebs and that's like the main stuff that i've seen and i feel like after this story came out initially like after it was brought up again this year people talked about it like everyone in the internet was like just on a frenzy for this story is that the right word? See, this is what I mean by I'm kind of illiterate. Because why am I using big words that I don't even know? Like, frenzy? I don't think that's the right word. But um, people just were just going crazy for the story, talking about it, like, the first chance they got. Like, so they could, like, be the first one to talk about it. Then she came out with her ukulele thing. Then they were, like, the first ones to talk about it. And then after that, people stopped talking about it. Like, so obviously adam still has to talk about it because there's still more stuff that's going on you know and there's people like swoop who are you know doing their due diligence and sticking up for adam and you know helping like uncover this story and going in depth with it so props to swoop and props to swoop's team as well like as they should so like that's that's what they should be doing honestly because it was really crazy like i seen how people talked about it because i follow up with the i guess the quote-unquote drama it's not really drama it's like a serious thing but i follow up like with the quote-unquote drama like all the time like i'm i'm here for it okay like i'm here for the drama i'm here for the tea and after they reported on like the couple like just after they reported on the initial story being brought up again and then colleen doing her little sing-along song after that people just stopped talking about it which i don't know why because we do have to hold these people accountable for real like for real i don't know guys 
it's just this whole thing it it just this whole topic in general it's just people hating like just support people i don't know why we can't support people and uplift people and you know be there for people anyways <laughs> i guess it got a little slow there i swear i've recorded this episode like so many times that i'm kind of getting tired of it so that's why i might sound a little tired at the end of this episode i swear the energy just went all the way down but i hope you guys enjoyed um i hope this made sense because when i speak it makes sense to me but when i listen to it back it also still does make sense to me but maybe to some other people well obviously to some other people it's definitely not gonna make any sense because of the way that i talk is just so chaotic um i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the podcast if you want to hear more from me follow my channel you know i do have some youtube videos that you can watch and you know i'm still gonna be doing this podcast so if you want to give me like some topics that you want me to talk about or that i can give my two cents in i also do want to talk about more than just drama i'm not gonna be a drama channel you know i I do want to talk about like other stuff because i feel like i'm looking kind of wise beyond my years kind of like even though i'm 18 about to be 19 i feel like i have a lot of stuff that i can shed light on and really just talk about because i really do feel like that i don't know maybe it's just me actually it's not just me because even my therapist too is kind of just like you're very aware of stuff and i'm like yeah i know like i'll be figuring stuff out quick but yeah so that is the end of it please subscribe to my channel if you have not already click the like button on this podcast episode um click the bell if you want i don't know you don't have to but you can if you want to also little shout out to our sponsor of this video (laughs) i'm kidding i don't have a sponsor because i'm not that big of a channel obviously but i do want to talk about usgcreative.com if you don't know i am selling some crochet stuff on that site and there's gonna be some art stuff on there as well because it is my brother's site and he's letting me sell some of my stuff on there but he also sells his art stuff his art prints um he does commissions so if you want something custom done you can you know email him and do the deets and all that stuff i'm it's so late right now i'm just like talking at this point does that make sense just go check out usgcreative.com it will be in the link in the description below as well as all my other social medias and yeah and that's honestly it um oh my god okay (laughs) i guess bye